What makes a city a great place to live? One where people and businesses grow and neighborhoods flourish. Ask most people and they'll tell you it's about the amenities and the quality of life. It's the sense of community you feel when neighbors and organizations come together to make change. For more than a hundred years, the Rotary Club of Cedar Rapids has been at the forefront of that work, bringing together business and community leaders to make the Cedar Rapids Metro an even better place to live for generations to come. To be a part of an organization that not only has this huge, long historical legacy, but also a current, very viable, uh, important legacy as well, um, is, is wonderful. It's made friends and connections and made certainly my life better and I think the community's life better. Our story starts in 1905 when Rotary's founder Paul Harris organized the first meeting of service-minded businessmen in Chicago. Harris was a graduate of the University of Iowa College of Law and his Iowa connections meant that the Rotary philosophy of business networking and community service spread rapidly through the state. Clubs were established in Iowa as early as 1911, with Cedar Rapids Club launching on June 1, 1914. Rotary grew rapidly in Cedar Rapids, becoming one of the city's premier philanthropic clubs. It met weekly at landmark hotels in the center of the city, earning it the nickname Downtown Rotary. Our club came to be known for the stature of its members and the quality of its speakers. That included former and future U.S. presidents, CEOs, and the state's top elected leaders. Take that hour, right, out of your day on a Monday, so it's nice to kick off the week and just be able to learn and grasp whether it's politics, whether it's community, whether it's healthcare, whatever it is, the topics and the ranges in which our Rotary brings the programs in, I feel as if is really influential. Rotary's charitable projects throughout the city were organized under the motto of service above self and focused primarily on youth and education to providing more than $200,000 in college scholarships for area students. Downtown members also helped shape the face of the city. One of its earliest projects involved raising funds in 1918 to help pave a seedling mile as part of the National Lincoln Highway. Since then, Downtown Rotary's done everything from purchasing sculptures for the city's museum to building playground equipment for area schools. In recent years, the club led a more than half million dollar effort to construct Rotary Hall the centerpiece of Cedar Rapids' reborn Nubo district after the flood of 2008. We also led the effort to raise $150,000 for the new Prospect Meadows Sports Complex in Marion. It's about paying it forward or, you know, thinking about what we can do for the community rather than me because it's now it's about hopefully the legacy that the Rotary members want to leave for themselves and their community and help it be a place where they want their kids to live and flourish, and that's one of the things as I've talked about the economic development efforts, including Rotary, that I've been involved in in our community. It's about making the community a place where mm, I want my kids to live. Downtown Rotary isn't just focused locally, however. The club's influence and impact has traveled far beyond the city limits over the past 100 years. Downtown Rotary sponsored the creation of five different clubs in the state and has raised more than $200,000 for Polio Plus. Rotary's global initiative to eradicate the disease. Other notable projects included the purchase of farm equipment for farmers in Liberia and mobile medical clinics to serve poor villagers in Mexico's Yucatan region. I know that we still have lots of issues to deal with locally, but it also seemed to me that we had a responsibility to look farther afield for the kinds of things that really made a huge difference in the daily lives of people. Today, Downtown Rotary stands as one of the top 50 Rotary Clubs in the world and continues its leadership role in the community and state. The club still meets downtown at the new Doubletree by Hilton Convention Complex and counts more than 280 members with roughly 50% women and a new crop of young, exciting leaders. It, it's a phenomenally efficient way to get to know 
the other business leaders, civic leaders, emerging leaders of the city. What, what's really uh, fun about it is that it's informal, so you can just have a casual interaction, an unplanned interaction to have a conversation that doesn't require a full-on meeting. And I love the fact that they're really uh, efficient about it starts at noon, it ends at one, so you know that it's not going to be more than an hour. It was Jack Evans who made the recommendation to do downtown in large part. The reason why it stood out to me was just the vast networking opportunity that entailed, just how large the downtown Cedar Rapids Rotary organization is with 250 plus members. So if you're ready to get to work and make a difference in Cedar Rapids, downtown Rotary is ready for you. Join your fellow business and community leaders to improve the lives of your neighbors and those around the world through service above self. Build your network while also building Cedar Rapids. Be a person of action with Downtown Rotary. We're waiting for you.